Joining me now is Prithviraj Savan, the former Congress Chief Minister of Maharashtra. It's last Congress Chief Minister. Appreciate your joining us, uh, Mr. Savan. Uh, my first question to you, would it be right to say this is a do or die battle for the Congress in particular, given what happened in Haryana? If you can't win Maharashtra as an India alliance, then it's Mr. Modi who's once again resurgent and the Congress on the back foot. Am I right? Well, Rajdeep, every election is very important. It's always a do or die election for the local party, be it BJP in Maharashtra or the Mahavikas Aghadi in our state. It's always an important election. So is this election important? But only thing is, we are entering into the Vidhan Sabha election on the back of a very successful Lok Sabha campaign. We won 65% of the seats uh, as Mahavikas Aghadi. And uh, while we are not complacent, uh, we're not uh, um, resting on our laurels, I think it will be a tough fight because it's also a do or die election for the BJP and its allies. So uh, what has happened in the state, mm -hmm. the state is virtually bankrupt today with all sort of swaps and all sort of freebies being uh, given and offered with, uh, with the state exchequer empty. The, the state has a loan of more than 10 lakh crore rupees of drying up, no new industry is coming up. Uh, it's a pre very precarious situation. Highest number of farm suicides in Maharashtra because of the wrong policies of the Modi government. Uh, I think the people are just waiting for the election day, which was announced today, to just throw this government out of power. You know, you're saying that, that the people are waiting for uh, to throw this government out of power. I heard the same thing in Haryana just a few weeks ago, and you saw what happened. And even there in the Lok Sabha, it was neck and neck. But when it came to the Vidhan Sabha, the BJP edged ahead. Would you concede that the BJP and indeed the Mahayuti in power is better prepared for this election compared to MBA? You all still haven't worked on seat sharing. There's still no clarity on leadership. The, MBA, uh, the Mahayuti on the other hand, you call them SOPs, but they seem better prepared. No, I think it's a matter of comparison. You cannot compare Haryana with Maharashtra. Haryana, uh, the Lok Sabha results was 50-50%. Uh, in Maharashtra, we had a much better Lok Sabha result. Uh, the vote percentage in, in Haryana was pretty close. Uh, we had about a 2 percentage point clear lead in Lok Sabha. And I think that uh, will be even uh, wider this time because the farm situation is becoming more and more precarious. Uh, take soybean for example, the MSP is 4,900 and people are getting 4,000 rupees. I remember Mr. Devendra Fadnis taking out morchas against my government in 2013 demanding a minimum price of 6,000 rupees for soybean. Today the soybean is being sold for 4,000 rupees. What have farmers done? Highest number of suicides of any other state in the country happening in Maharashtra. No industrialization here. All the industry hijacked to Gujarat. People, educated people, lakhs and lakhs of unemployment, unemployed educated people are roaming the streets, delivering pizzas. They're not getting married. It's a very grave social crisis. People don't you're, seem to realize. You're, you're, That's you're why saying, you're there's saying, anger against the Shinde government. No, you're saying there's anger against the Shinde government. The Shinde government tells me that many of their schemes, particularly the Ladki Bahin scheme, which gives 1,500 rupees to women below the poverty line per family, is, is having an impact. More than 2 crore women, they say, have benefited. These are the kind of schemes that will benefit them. The BJP tells me infrastructure in urban areas like Mumbai will benefit them. So they believe that people want continuity. You're talking of change. Do you have, a, do you have an answer? You're in charge of the manifesto. Do you have an answer to Ladli Bahin or indeed the various schemes that are being brought in? Rahul Gandhi spoke of khatakat yes. politics during the Lok Sabha. Well, well, now let, Shinde is talking of his khatakat politics. Well, let, let, well, let us take one thing at a time. You talked about Ladli Bahen Yojana. Let's not forget that it was in the Karnataka manifesto of the Congress party that we promised 2,000 rupees to women under Mahalakshmi scheme. We won that state, we gave 2,000 rupees. 
We promised 2,000 rupees to women in Telangana manifesto. We won the election and we gave 2,000 rupees to women. It is our scheme. You look at our Lok Sabha manifesto. We talk about empowering women to direct payments. So even if this government had not given 1,500 rupees, we would have done it anyway. So, I mean, even in Madhya Pradesh, no, so are you saying our you will, idea... No, are you saying you will give 2,000 rupees? to implement, but... No, are you saying you will give 2,000 rupees to women if you come to well, power? Uh, we will continue the scheme. We will continue the scheme. We have welcomed the scheme. But it will not like a ladli bahan and bichari bahana, the elder brother giving, uh, taking pity and giving her 2,000 rupees. We want to frame it as a right. Right for the unpaid work that a woman does in house. Looking after children, cooking for the family, mm -hmm. sewing and cleaning. All this is completely unpaid work. In international economics, uh, people are now arguing for GDP of the country to be uh, calculated in such a way that this unpaid work of women is computed in the GDP calculation. Uh, uh, so we want to create a right of the woman, okay. not as a merbani. And I think we'll give the, the amount will be fixed, amount will be decided when what? the manifesto gets finalized. But we have welcomed the scheme. I think what we will according continue to you it. then? Okay, you're saying you're welcoming the scheme. You'll continue with it. What according to you then is the X factor in this election? Because the BJP seems to be cost correcting after Lok Sabha. They've been reaching out to OBCs. They are hoping uh, that in urban areas, some of their uh, projects will have an impact on voters. What, according to you, is the X factor that will decide the Maharashtra elections? Now, Rajiv, uh, there are six major divisions in Maharashtra. Two in Vidarbha, one in Maratwada. Vidarbha, there is such a grave agriculture crisis, the farm suicides and all that thing. There is a wave in favor of MVA, particularly in favor of the Congress party. In Marathwada, the Dalit, Muslim, and the Maratha consolidation will uh, will let, uh, allow us to sweep Marathwada completely. That's what happened in Lok Sabha election, except for one seat. All other seats were won by the MVA. Yes. In other three regions, the North Maharashtra, Western Maharashtra, and Mumbai, there will be a three-way fight, two-way fight, three-way fight. But I think nobody will have a great edge anywhere else. But our edge will be in the Vidabha region, where there are 62 assembly seats, and in the Maratwada region. You know, but there's a feeling that you mentioned two-way, three-way fight. Many believe there'll be five-way, six-way fights. And part of your challenge is managing independence, managing rebels. Well, you couldn't do it in Haryana. Maharashtra is going to be about poll management, seat sharing. You haven't even got to seat sharing who will get how many well, seats. Well, Isn't that going to be the big challenge now? No. Yes, seat sharing is not being completed by Mahayuti also, by BJP also, and we also got some seats left. My understanding is that almost 80 to 85 percent of the work has been done. The last mile of 15 percent seats are left. Tomorrow there is a screening committee of Congress party in Delhi. Next day will there will be a CEC election committee meeting in the part of the seats will be announced I think in the next couple of days. Okay. Uh, election dates have been announced. I think seat sharing will be fine as long as uh, as, as soon as seat sharing happens our candidates are ready. So each can party I, will nominate their candidates and get into the uh, actual campaign mode. Can I therefore ask you a final question? Will you project a face? Uddhav Thakre, Shiv Sena very clear that you should project a face. Is the Congress willing to have a rethink on that issue? Go into Maharashtra elections under Uddhav Thakre or any one leader? Well, I think projecting a face before the election, different people can have different views. Congress party has never projected a face when we are fighting in, in the opposition. Let me repeat that. Uh, the practice has been after the election, the largest party gets to nominate the chief minister. It happened in 1999, mm -hmm. 2004, 2009, 14. Even in 19, we, for the first time, we formed a three party alliance with Uddhav Thakre, Shiv Sena, and NCP of Sharad Pawar. What did you do? We chose the CM from the largest party, which happened to be this, uh, the Shiv Sena. Nobody even murmured. Shiv Sena had 56 MLAs, NCP had 54, just too short. But they didn't uh, raise okay, the so voice. You're saying the largest party got to name the chief minister, uh, so which was Uddhav Thakre. So I think why should it be different this time? Okay, my final question is where I started off. You said, uh, no, it's not a do or die battle for us. It's another election. But the fact is, 
It is an election in India's commercial capital, Mumbai. It's an election in India's second largest seat when it comes to Lok Sabha. It's an election which will tell us whether Rahul Gandhi still is able to take on the BJP in direct contests in places like Vidarbha. For all those reasons and possibly a few more, including momentum perception, will you agree that this election is where the Congress will have to put all its eggs now and not repeat the mistakes of Haryana? No, I don't know what happened in Haryana. So I think Congress will fight uh, uh, together with our alliance partners, will fight uh, you know, very aggressively because uh, we are representing people's issues. Uh, there are severe crises in so many fields, the cost of living crisis, the unemployment crisis, the agriculture crisis, and people still have not uh, gotten over the Samvidhan Bachao matter. Right. Uh, BJP wants us to believe that the Samvidhan is a national issue. It was an issue for parliament and not for assembly election. No, sir, that's not true. The Samvidhan is a problem of vichar dhara. BJP has never accepted Ambedkar's constitution. They always believed in the manusmriti that they had. They want to go back to the Varna Vyavastha. Uh, even in uh, 1947, when the constitution was being drafted, right. the constituted assembly was being con co constituted. The RSS said that we don't need it. We already have a constitution. We have already had a penal code. So I think, what are we talking? It is their mindset which you are fighting. It is a mindset with the Dalits, the Muslims, the poor people of this uh, the Maharashtra state will fight. And ultimately, corruption. Corruption is the, is the X factor, as you called it. I mean, what happens in the constituency is that people have crossed parties uh, for a consideration of 50 crore rupees. People have voted them I uh, given them confidence uh, and that confidence was auctioned okay. was sold to the highest bidder 50 crore rupees do you think these people when they go back to the voters voters are not going to ask them this question well we wait corruption and see. is going to be the main uh, you're, you're saying corruption issue. will be a major election we'll issue. Wait and see. Okay, we'll wait and see whether the voters are influenced by what you claim are corrupt practices in a state like Maharashtra or is it a case as you and other uh, congressmen, Pannas Khoke, Ekdam OK. We'll wait and see how Maharashtra plays out in the end. But Prithviraj Savan, tough month ahead. All eyes will be on Mumbai. Thank you very much for joining me here on the news today. Yes, thank you.